Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Edge router to the managed switch. In this case I'm going to use Cisco switch, I have all Cisco switch, 8 port switch. We can configure this switch to build the trunk connection between Cisco and Edge router. We are going to use VLANs of course to go to pass through that trunk link and let's start. On Edge router I'm going to create the VLAN interface. On a Cisco, when you create the VLAN interface, you also need to create the VLAN itself, or at least you have to put interface into a VLAN, which will create the VLAN automatically. On Edge Router, you just need to add the VLAN interface, and this will create the necessary configuration automatically. So that VLAN will exist because we created the VLAN interface. I'm gonna use VLAN 10. I'm gonna say that uh, I want this VLAN to be assigned to Ethernet 4. That's gonna be test VLAN as a description. And I'm going to add the IP address to this VLAN interface. It's gonna be 172.16.0.1 slash 24. Now I'm going to configure Cisco switch. This can be any minute switch that supports trunking and pretty much any minute switch supports trunking. I'm going to configure the Gigabit Ethernet 01 which is the interface connected to Ethernet 4 on the edge router. And I'm going to configure this to be trunk. Let's do that. Now, this is not the Cisco tutorial. This is specific to the edge router. So I'm not going to explain a lot about how I'm configuring the Cisco or why, because this video is intended for you to configure the edge router to connect to to the Cisco switch, which is already configured or managed by someone else. Now, okay, I can't do that. I still need to explain that. <laughs> so uh, this is the old version. So I have to choose the trunking protocol. So that's gonna be uh, switch port trunk, encapsulate, not protocol, the encapsulation. And nowadays you only find .1Q, which is the open standard, and ISL was Cisco proprietary uh, encapsulation. I don't think it's being used nowadays. So I'm gonna try, not try, I'm gonna use .1Q, and then I'm gonna say you are in the trunk mode. Okay, that's it. So Cisco switch is configured to be a trunk. Now I need to create the VLAN just like created the VLAN interface on the edge router. So let's do that. It's going to be in VLAN 10, name test VLAN, and let's create the interface VLAN 10. And now here, IP address is going to be 172.16.0.2. And again, it's going to have the same subnet mask, just like the VLAN 10 interface on the edge router. Okay. Now let's see if the interface came up already. And as you can see, it is up and up. Now we should be able to ping 172 2.16.0.1 from the Cisco and that one is here on the edge router, right? That will confirm that, that there is a link L3 connection, layer three connection between Cisco switch and edge router. And as you can see, I can ping it. Now, this is not the only VLAN you can pass through the link because the link is trunk link, remember? We can add more VLANs and route the traffic between uh, between this VLAN. It's essentially, we're making the router on a stick using the one link, and then, for example, uh, connecting the other device. For you can have, you can make Ethernet uh, fast Ethernet. You can make fast Ethernet seven and eight to be the ISP, for example, and then send that traffic through the link to the edge router. You, you can do whatever you want. So let's add interface VLAN 20 as well, just to test. Again, Ethernet 4, test VLAN 2, 
and IP address for this guy is going to be 172.16.1.1. The previous one was 0 0.1, this is 1.1. And because it's slash 24, this is completely new sublet. Save. Now let's go here on the Cisco switch. And just to confirm that VLAN works, we can create the new VLAN interface. By the way, there is no routing enabled by default on this switch. Which means, even though if we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, the switch will not route the traffic between VLANs, even if the computers and the hosts on the switch, connected on the switch, will use switch IP as the gateway. The switch will not route the traffic. So all the traffic still goes to the edge router and edge router IP supposed to be the gateway for the computers connected to the switch. Now, this second interface is created. I'm going to create the VLAN as well. And now do show IP interface brief and to see which interfaces we have up and running. Okay, the VLAN 20 is still not up. We are going to have to wait a little bit. Let's confirm we created the VLAN. Yes, we did. It's here. And we definitely created the VLAN. Okay, it went up. Now it's up. It's oh, It always takes some time, so you gotta wait. And I made a mistake again. Here. Now this is up. So now if I ping that one from this subnet, I should be able to ping and that is going to be the router, edge router. And here again. So this is pretty much how you build the trunk link between edge router and Cisco switch. Now on the Cisco side, you can have any of the managed switch. If you know how to manage that switch in, in terms of the VLANs and the trunk link, you can configure it and on, on Edge Router, that's all you need. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.